and we are live. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me check in on the stream, make sure that we're not having any weird laggy, laggy lagginess. <laughs> Welcome to Limsy. Welcome to Limsy. Looks like we're okay. We got our sound. Our sound is on. Excellent. Welcome, everyone, to Let Me Show You with me, Emma, and my co-host, Javion, the show where Javion usually shows me games and you get to watch, but today I get to do a board game teach, which is scary because Javion is the expert and will judge me on my performance. <laughs> Probably not. Sorry, uh, we had to miss uh, a, a, a last week at a doctor's appointment, but we're all back and ready for more action today. Yeah, so I'll tell you, um, I'm excited to play War Chest because um, I at first was not into it. I, I saw the concept and I was like, oh, it looks kind of tactical. I don't, I don't know if I like the battle strategy of it. But then I l actually looked into a little bit more of the details. It's a bag building uh, sort of tactical strategy game, which I like a lot better. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot better. So that's what I um, that's what hooked me. Uh, to the point where I'm like, Emma, can you show me this board game? <laughs> I agree. First time I played this game, I'm going to be honest, I was not a fan. Uh, my husband kicked my butt pretty badly, and mm. I, I tend to not to tend to not like games as much when I lose. I think JV and I both share a little bit of yeah. that yeah. <laughs> attitude. <We do. laughs> but we appreciate it. Uh, months late, months after. Yeah, uh, we, we, we do. The sting has worn off. <laughs> I I think abstract strategy-ish games are the ones more than any other type of game that are polarizing for me. Either yeah. I really like them or they just make me so mad. Uh, but yeah. I, I've become more comfortable. Honestly, JV and I have been playing a little chess recently-ish. And... Chess was always one where I was just like, I can't figure this out. It's too complicated. Even though I was on the chess team for years, it was just like, <laughs> Else Dragoon says, oh, did someone chess, say abstract team? strategy? Wow. I was, but it was like, it was like the slacker chess team where we really didn't do much of anything. We just kind of messed around and played very little chess. Oh, I don't even oh know. okay. I don't know why I was on this chess. I don't know why i was it's just the now thing. i'm even more proud of, that i was <laughs> able to keep up with you on, on the three games that we played oh my gosh i i was on it for like a semester in high school and oh, okay. yeah i went not... to chess camp twice <laughs> oh what you went to chess for, camp for like 45 minutes <laughs> okay well, i went twice for when I, when I say twice, I mean two occasions. Oh, okay. Two 45 minute sessions. Okay. Not like a My summer head. camp, like all summer long, no, eight hours a day. Camp. I just called it that. It was chess club, really. Chess, okay. At a school I didn't even go to. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now I study chess every single day. I practice. Uh, I, I get at least 25 puzzles complete in survival mode. Yeah. Um, you know, every single day, just grinding out, grinding out, talking chess. Dang. I, I, and all that good stuff. I, I do not do that. I, I just play other games, I guess. So chess used to be very frustrating recently. The more I play games and abstract strategy games, the more I get into it. The tough thing is it's really important when you're playing with someone to just do the, the stuff. Like if you get caught up 10 minutes or something waiting on a move, like you'll learn more if you just play it and make the mistakes. And yeah. when it's so easy to make an obvious mistake and the person you're playing against is like, oh, that was a bad move. And both of you know it, it can be really embarrassing, right? Right. But then uh, you know how to make it. Anymore. Yeah. And so I think over time it gets better. Uh, like Onitama I really love. We played the Duke the first time. I think I was okay. We played it again just last week, I think. And it was, it was fun. You know, now, now that I'm getting more of a sense of it, uh, I like it. And I really like anyone like... Onitama to some extent, the Duke very much so, and War Chess, there is an aspect of randomness to it, so it's not pure abstract strategy. And that makes a huge difference. Um, how you play the game, and like the more tactical or strategic person won't necessarily hands down win. So. <laughs> Elstragoon says, this is like the pre-funk psych out phase of the abstract strategy. I know, this is where we're mentally like eye to eye, uh, staring each other down. Hey, J Fool's Guard, welcome Always in again. All right. Hey, J Fool. J Fool, yeah. <laughs> J Fools, maybe. 
All right. <laughs> so again, I'm not the expert of live teaching games other than my own when I'm playtesting games. Even then, it can be a little iffy. So I'm going to do my best. If anyone has any questions in the chat, make sure to ask them because uh, it's possible I will miss things. But again, learning from Javion, I'll try to go over most of the actions and then get into the game and go into the specifics after that. So you can actually get into doing the actions a little easier to learn that way. Doing actions is good to get into. Yeah. So <laughs> J Fools works too. Awesome. We've already set up some of the game here. We have the board out. We have our bags. Uh, and in the two-player game, we're starting out with two control markers here. These darker parts of the board here, we're not going to be using, so we can't control those or move our pieces into them. We've also gotten the standard basic setup. And once you've played the game a couple of times, you'll shuffle all these unit cards together and distribute them. So you can get really weird combinations, or you could presumably do a draft if you want to, too. This is really the core of the game is all the units over here. We have some expansion stuff. Not going to worry about that now. But all of these different... Tell me about every expansion in Great <laughs> Maybe at the end if we have some time left over. You'll see all the different units here. And they have different numbers of tokens, which is represented by this little number here. You'll see the stacks of tokens. Uh, you can't really see because the tokens are covering the cards, but they have different abilities. So... That's another element of the randomness. You'll always play with different units and how they interact with each other is going to make a very different game than in something like chess, where you always have exactly the same units. So we have- No, basic... I love a thick chip. Right? <laughs> that is, so actually I have the, the physical version of War Chest over here. Uh, I'm going to be re referencing the physical rule book. This is definitely a game that plays so well in person because the chips, I'm going to- The chips are very thick. Yeah. They're in there, so I'm not going to grab them, but they are a nice thick chip. The components <laughs> for this game are absolutely amazing. Truly. So this is my team of the two starter teams. I have the Archer, the Cavalry, the Scout, and the Lancer. We'll go over their abilities in a moment. Javion has the Light Cavalry, the Swordsman, the Crossbowman, and the Pikeman. All right. Yeah, I'm playing the Wimp variant, <laughs> um, the uh, Wimp team. Mm. Uh, a bunch of wimps that are very low power, yeah. low strategy, right. low complexity. So, and this is important because if Davion loses, we'll know it's because of the wimp team. And if Davion wins, we'll know it's because overcoming amazing odds. So that's how we want to frame the plan of this game. <laughs> oh, man. Elstragoon yeah. says, yeah. getting uh, the Duke vibe so far, very much so. It's definitely got very similar elements, uh, except in this one, we only have four types of units, and the Duke, it's, gosh, I don't remember Javion, but it's uh, more than that. It's quite a few. More, wait, what? In the Duke, the number of different tokens that you have in your bag, uh, it's quite a few. Yeah, definitely not as many as this, but there's there's quite a few. There, Well, there's expansions, and there's, like, the mountain, and, like, Dreadnought and all these other weird stuff. Yeah. Not the Dreadnought, sorry, like the Oracle and stuff like that. Yeah. So, real quick, we have a total of six control tokens. Two of them are already on the board, and four of them are in this pile. Once we place the last of the six tokens onto these spaces, uh, so you can't use that one, Javion, because that is out of the space. Yeah. I'm going to show the ones that you can't place on. Okay. So, uh, for example, this. Once I've placed my six one, I win the game. So that's the goal that we're going to. It's a area control sort of a game. I'll put these back. We start with the two, four in the stack. Uh, we also placed some of our units into the bag. So to start the game, once you've got your four different unit types and all of the tokens that go with each one, you're going to take two from each pile and put them in the bag. There's also the royal coin, which is the ninth token that's going to go into the bag. Uh, it's a little less powerful from the other ones because you can only do some of the actions with that coin, but it does have some important uses. Note, again, the numbers on these. So some of them I have more units than others. Lancer, I have four total. Two are in the bag, so on and so forth. So that's everything for the setup of the game. Javion has the initiative marker. I have a way to take this and flip it to my side. But for now, each round, Javion is going to start. 
So to... the me first squirrel. That means me first. Yep. To start up, we're going to shuffle our bags and draw three of the tokens into our hand. You can see my Finally, hand got here. <laughs> JVons are hidden from me. And we're going to go over the actions that we can do with this because there are quite a few of those. So the first thing that you can do is um, place some of your tokens onto the board with a placement action. There's three basic things you can do. You can play a, a token face up to the board. You can play a token face down to your discard pile, which I'll put over here. Or you can play a token face up to your discard pile. We're gonna start off with playing face up to your board. So I can take any of these from my hand and play them face up uh, to deploy them to one of these areas. That means that token is on the board. In the future, I will need a matching token in my hand to do actions with what's on the board. So that's why it matters getting more of these tokens into your bag, which you're going to get to in a moment. So, uh, Javion, do you want to do, do you yeah, want to deploy something? Like right here. Perfect. Light Cavalry allows me to play another matching Light Cavalry token to my discard pile. And if I do that, I can move two spaces, yep. even though typically any piece can only move one space. Yep, exactly. Special ability. All right. And since Javiana has done that, I'm going to go ahead and look at my Archer's abilities. The Archer can only attack by using its tactic. So we're gonna get to basic attacks in a moment. Uh, this can't do basic attacks, but it can do uh, two spaces, doesn't have to be in a line, and it can shoot uh, over other units, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy on my turn. All right, so the other action you could do with a face-up token onto the board is bolstering. If I already had an archer out here and I had an, uh, another archer token in my hand, on a subsequent turn, you can only do one thing per turn, I would be able to play an archer token on top of this. What that basically does is give the token more health. So when you attack a unit successfully, uh, the coin, so for example, if this uh, cavalier was over here and attacked this, this would be removed from the game. So you're actually going to be losing your pieces over time. They don't go back into your bag. They're just gone. On so forever. if this had another unit on top of it, it just loses one coin. So this would be gone, but I would still have the unit on the board, wouldn't have to redeploy. So, so bolstering... can we get uh, a really quick uh, repeat of the win condition, the objective? Yep. The win condition is to control six of these special spaces. So once your sixth marker is placed you automatically win the game. And in a moment, I will get to how you actually take control of those. So face-up actions on the board, we have bolstering and deploying. Note that you can only have one unit of each type on the board at any time, so that's important. If I had another archer in my hand on another turn, I could not place it here, because I only have one of each type. Very important to remember. All right, and now we'll talk about discarding from our hand face down. So if I were to discard this face down, there's a few actions that I could do. Because Javion has the initiative marker, I could just take that, and that would be my turn. And this would flip over. That would mean next round, after we draw our three chips from the bag, I would go first. So that's pretty handy. The next thing I can do by discarding face down is to recruit, which is a very core action of the game. Recruiting means taking any of these and putting them into my bag. What's good about that is it increases the chance, obviously. Uh, sorry, I always mess that up. When I recruit, I take the token and put it in my discard pile. Discard pile will eventually go into the bag, but it doesn't go straight there. I always forget that, but remember that's very important. So once I discard this and put it face down, I would put another piece of any type on top of it. That means it's, I'm more likely to draw it. So here we get a little bit into the strategy. I might want to go heavy into one unit, so I draw a lot of those. Or I might want to go even across many units so that I can do a little bit of everything. Because if I draw a hand with no archer in it, I can't do that action. So even if Javion has a piece right here that's taking control and I don't have that thing, I can't fight with it. 
So it's very important to get more tokens into your bag. So again, face down discard, I can take initiative, I can recruit any of these pieces, I can also pass. So you're always gonna be playing a chip from your hand on your turn. If there's not anything specifically that I wanna do, sometimes I just want might want to pass my turn. So those are the three face down actions, discarding face down. Now we're gonna talk about uh, discarding face up. So we want to, we've deployed pieces on a previous round, on a previous turn. This turn, I wanna do something with my pieces. In order to do anything with a piece, you need to discard a token, pretend this is in my hand, from my hand, face up, and it needs to match. Now that I have done so, I can do one of several actions, and those are uh, moving, controlling, attacking, and tactics. So if I discard this from my hand, I can move. Most pieces have a basic move of one space. That means it can move to any of these spaces. Uh, for attacking, most pieces also have a basic attack of one space. But remember for the archer that has a special restriction, it can only attack by using its tactic. So if Javion's piece was here, I actually couldn't attack it with my archer. It's not like chess, you don't move the piece into the space when you attack, you just declare your attack and then if it's legal, so for example, this is two spaces away, if Javion was there and I had discarded this archer, I could get this out of the game. So that's moving, attacking, controlling, this is how you win the game. So if, uh, if I had moved here, and I had this piece in my hand to discard, I could do that. The only thing I would do on my turn is pick this up and put a control marker underneath it. If I was on top of one of Javion's control markers, I would return this to him and place my own there. So you can, can kind of go All back in one and forth. Yes, um, replacing and with one of your own. So moving, attacking, controlling, and then the tactics. This is the special things on the card. So for example, for the cavalry, move and then attack. So I kind of combine both of those actions. If I have a cavalry out here, uh, and for example, I'm right here. So these are very mobile, right? So I would be able to move and attack in the same turn, which is very powerful, right? So it's very important in this game to pay attention to what your opponent can do because it's completely different than what your units can do. So you need to know what they are capable of. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go yeah. over these as we're playing. And for the first few moves, I'm going to focus and let everyone know what the pieces are doing. Uh, but other than that, Javion, it is your turn. Ready to go. All right. I'm going to toss away a token face down, which will allow me to put a token into my bag. Not in the bag, yeah. remember? <laughs> I into keep this into the face discard. up. Yep. Um, let's put light cavalry. All right, light cavalry. Again, these are the really mobile ones. When's a round over? Uh, round is over once we've each played our three chips. Or pass three times? Or pass, yeah, once our hands are empty of chips. Oh, they have to be empty, so eventually you have to play all three of them. Yep, yep. Okay. Each turn you're going to play a chip, no matter what, even if you just pass with that chip. Uh, and then at the end of the round, we'll draw three. If ever our bags run out, that's when we shuffle our discard into our bag. So those units that we're recruiting will eventually get into our bag, but it takes a little while. This isn't a band in a large choke, so you get the thing straight into your bag or your hand. You gotta <laughs> wait to, to get that shuffle going on. And deploying troops, you have to move a troop away before you can deploy another one to the space where it's Yes, deployed. you can Got only it. deploy on to... The onto empty spaces, so you do have Control. to move. I'm I'm gonna go a little ham here. I'm actually just going to take my cavalry and place it right there. Okay, and I'm going to play my second light cavalry token and move. Boop, boop. Move and again. It's tactic, tactic, move two spaces, any two spaces, no restrictions. So you are now on a control point, and if you get another cavalry, you can take that. So you're all you already closer to winning. I've done the thing. You've done the thing. thing all right. Uh, this is not supposed to be there. That was for demonstration purposes. All right. I am going to take this, discard it, and then I'm going to 
recruit something, I think I would recruit a cavalry. Makes sense. You already got one out on the board. You want to be able to do stuff with it. Yep. You need more tokens. And that is the end of the round. So we first. are going to draw three tokens. And Javion still goes first until I take that initiative marker. Uh, I forgot what this token does, so I'm just going to show it to you. Yes. So that is the royal coin. Um, it's like a wild. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, it's not. No, sorry. It's not a wild. This one is, you can only do it face down, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's just an extra one, so you can basically just do the discard face down actions with that. Got it. Uh, so you can pass, recruit, or claim the initiative. When you pass, do you have to discard something? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good game. Good the game. royal coin does not have a matching unit. It can only be used to perform face down actions or the tactic on the royal guard unit, which we don't have the royal guard. So. Yep. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to discard it face down. All right. I'm going to plop a, an extra crossbow person. All right. I like it. Sorry, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. All right, so I should probably move someone or else I won't be able to deploy. I keep conflating my things with uh, with your things. I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I can move two spaces, right? But it's just your sweet cavalry that can do that. <laughs> um, your lancer's pretty dope, though. Do you have to attack if you want to move? Yeah, but the lancer uh, can only attack by using its tactic. Right, so, but do you have to also attack when you use a tactic? Or can you just move? Uh, I can just move regularly. Without having to attack. Yeah, so I can move the single space, but if no, I want... No, I'm talking about the attacker. Uh, I have to attack. Ah. Yeah. If you don't have anything to attack, I'm stuck there. Okay. Yeah. But I, I can still do a basic move. Right. Which is basic. just moving one space. Uh, but I can't do, like, the bonus move. And a basic attack. Uh, so this seems fine, I guess. Yeah. Moving does not equate to attacking. So it's not like the uh, bishop. You can't move on to another space and attack at the same time unless it has a tactic. Right, exactly. Um, so I would like to move and attack with this cavalry, but no one's in range. So like if you were here, I could attack into here. But since not, I will just do my basic move and that will be here. Dang, that's scary. I think you actually could. Uh, so this is a cavalry, not the lancer. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, thank goodness. Yeah. I was scared. I was like, wow, if, did yeah. I really just go in range of, like, yeah, no, that, That's the scary space? part. You can really mess up in this game super easily. So move one ah. or two spaces and then attack in a straight line. So if I if this was the lancer, I could move two and then attack this one. Absolutely. That's Ugh. why it's, this game starts right in the middle of the action. So. Man, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I thought I was all safe and whatnot, but. All right, it is your well, turn. Well, you don't have any more uh, uh, cavalry. I don't in because your bag, so. I only started with two, so that was the two. I have a future one, one, but yeah. Man, oh, that's scary. Please. Another interesting thing: this, like, you can just spend the whole beginning of the game not deploying or moving anything. Like, you can just recruit and get a bunch of stuff in your bag, or you can just take a lot of actions and not put stuff in your bag. There's a lot of choices in this game. Putting another cav light cavalry in my bag. All right, so you're that going. A strong suspicion I'm going to need to. Yeah, you're going heavy into the light cavalries. Okay. Um. Yeah. You should do a pass just to give me a little bit of a head start. 
I'm going to deploy this Lancer. Now note, uh, units can't move through each other unless it says so. So this is in range, but I have to move that cavalry out of the way before gosh. I can attack with it. So that thing is really powerful. It's pretty, pretty. You have tough. to get like yeah. right up next to you, just even then. But it's it's only in a straight line. So like if you were here, I couldn't attack it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Remember the straight lines on this. A lot of units care specifically about going in a straight line. Dang! I should have gone here. <laughs> huh? uh, all right, and it is your turn again. Okay. Let us now put a crossbowman into the into the mix. Okay, J Man's going heavy into the bag, which will definitely serve him in the future. I am... they need to get away from all your stuff. <laughs> I makes can't me... put two light uh, light cavalry out at the same time. Exactly. So bolster yeah. this one in order to keep it alive long enough to actually command area. All right, so I'm going to talk through what I'm doing here since it's the last round, uh, last turn of the round, so it doesn't super matter, but I do have this bow in my hand. Unfortunately, there's nothing here. If Javion was here, I would be able to whoop it from a distance. <laughs> whoop. Because I have the thing. Remember, I can't attack... Um, can't do a basic attack in one unit. I can only attack at range, but my ranged attack is pretty powerful. Um, so I could discard this face up and move. And bolstering is the uh, also needs. Uh, what are the what are the face down actions again? Uh, face down actions are passing, recruiting, and taking the initiative marker. I could discard this face. Uh, not discard. I could place this. So I can't place it because there's no space, but also since I already have an archer, but I could bolster with this. So I could put one unit on top of this one to make it harder to kill. Claim initiative, recruit, or pass. Yeah. Okay, but all the face-up stuff is the good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I could bolster this because it's an archer. I don't super want to. I could discard it face-up to move it. But Javion's getting a lot of chips, so I think I should probably do something like that as well. Uh, I'm going to get one of these Lancers. And that's the end of the round. Javion still has the initiative marker, so you're still going to go first. We're going to draw three chips from our bags. Heck yeah. Drawing chips is tight. <laughs> okay. So the Lancer, I know, can actually move for uh, uh but can't move and attack, so okay, okay, I see. So you might like position the lancer somewhere really cool, and then like scare me away from putting my putting my pieces somewhere that I I want to put it. Yeah. But right now, actually, there's no really good places for you to move your lancer to without moving your cavalry, and you've already used your cavalry for the round. Ha. Ah. Yeah. I could Sorry. move it. I could still move my lancer as a basic move. Yeah, but. but I, don't anything for you. I gotta put you in a good position. One, two, attack. I'm not going to put anything here. I'm going to put it over here. Here's something else. You're screwed, Emma. Screwed. <laughs> no, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do the crossbow. I'm going to do the crossbow. Because I think, I think, I think I'm going to focus on one side of the board. Yeah. All right. So again, this can attack a unit two spaces away in a straight line, but it cannot be occupied. So if Javion has a piece here, the crossbowman can't shoot over. Uh, but basically, I have to pay attention to these spots because these are very dangerous spots to be. J Fool's Guard says, I really want to play this game. It's a good game, and I say this as someone who did not like it the first time I played, but I, I've been enjoying it more and more. Uh, all right, you did your crossbowman. I'm going to discard to take the initiative. And now I will be first next round. Um, can I take it back? Uh, I believe it can only move once. There's a special rule about this. If you already have the initiative marker or had it earlier this round, you may not perform this action. The initiative marker may only transfer between players once per round. So you can't just okay. keep stealing it back. Important. That's just less <laughs> you get to do this round. Sneaky, I know, right? 
Okay. Let us now reposition our crossbow. Thank you for moving. So now this no. spot, but this is where, uh, so this spot is fine for now because you can't shoot through another unit, but this spot, I don't want to move here, which is a problem because it's a control spot, right? So that's a pretty that's a powerful, problem. that's a powerful okay. thing to do. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, so I'm going to discard this to get a scout. This is where the thinking comes in. Got lots of thinking. I will hover in close to my cards here. Uh, if anyone has any questions about the abilities. Elstragoon says, so there's kind of a bag building aspect too. How many little chips are in the real version uh, IRL? Uh, in the physical version, the same number as Javion is deciding. I'm like, did I want to open this up? The case is also super sweet for this. So I'm going to pull it out. Uh, there's a bunch of physical bags. <laughs> I love that I have the physical version here too, because I can kind of show it off. So this is the, the physical bags. It's a nice like velvety feel to it. Uh, I got the physical board here, folds up nice and small. And I will try and pull this uh, <laughs> thing out. There's a lid on here to protect all the chips. And it's a real thick chip. Yeah. We have the expansion, so we have a couple of layers, but each layer has a tray. Uh, and there, there you have the. You get a lot yeah. of chips in the base game, just the base game alone. I have the expansion as well. I just bought, but. But this up, up next to the mic because just the ugh, gives me <laughs> shivers. They're just such nice components. That's how you know it's a thick chip. Yeah, thick, thick chip. Yeah, <laughs> board game ASMR. I know, right? Uh, did you do your move, Javion? I sure did. I moved my crossbow. Move. All right. Crossbow, crossbow person. Actually, now I think, need to, I think I need to do another action because didn't you just do something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the, no. I'm the last one until next round. Now I'm going to toss this one face down. All right. And I'm going to grab my last light cavalry. Cool. So you're going to have a lot of chips in your bag now. Javion is going for the big bag strategy here. Big bag strategy. Uh, I'm going for not as big of a bag strategy. We'll see who is correct in that assumption. All right. You ready for some aggro? Ready, you ready for, for some in your face? You about to hit me? So, didn't you wait? Hold on, you shouldn't be able to hit me. <laughs> Can you use your your cavalry that you? Hold on. I just it, I can't hit you. I can't hit you. Okay. But I do have this scout, and the scout's tactic <gasps> says it may be deployed adjacent to any friendly unit. So this scout doesn't have to start on an area that I control. So I can put this scout right here. Okay, that scout. Sure. Yeah. So if I, then that's why I took the initiative. This is risky though. This is where the risk comes in. If I draw a scout, I can attack this cavalry. Gosh, if I don't, that's so but if I don't draw it, you can attack. If you draw the cavalry, you can hit my scout, right? Yeah. So that's a very risky move. Very luck based, yeah. Uh, I all hope right. you don't get it so I can beat you. That's the end of the round. As you can see, our bags <laughs> are empty. They won't always be empty at the same time, but because we each start with nine chips, the first round they will be empty at the same time. So we are both going to go ahead and put our discard piles into our bags. And this is how all those chips um, that we had recruited over the course of the round, this is how they get in the bag. So you see here, Javion went heavy into recruiting and has 12 in here. I only have eight in here. So. We'll see. I have extras for when you destroy all of my uh, 
troops. <laughs> oh, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm going so attacking in this game is not necessarily the best choice. You don't win by taking units. It can be helpful, but like you already are controlling a few locations. So this isn't necessarily Plus you have like a but... bunch of variety whereas I just have like two pe two types out. Okay. So, yeah, I figured. I'm See, even, going to even if you don't kill uh, kill it, you could just use your cavalry to move and kill it. But I can't move through a space with another unit. I know, but like if I kill off your scout, maybe, maybe we'll see. All right, I'm going to start off. First, by discarding <gasps> this and moving. Um, move here. Peculiar. Peculiar, man. Okay, I can't wait to start building on the on the right side because you're just going way there, too hard. You went heavy onto this side as well. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put some control on this space here instead of moving my light cavalry to freedom. I'm going to see if this is a bad idea, but I'm going to wait until oh. after I realize it's a bad idea Interesting. to find out. So you're not going to attack with that one because you could attack this. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. And what would the result be? You you still attack me anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I just, maybe there's no I way mean, to I guess know. I could bolster it. Uh, but yeah, that that's your choice, right? You're you have a choice to bolster it, to control it, or to attack, or a few other things. Um, but you're you're winning now. Like you have one more thing than me, so you are closer yeah. to victory. All this a uh, win. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I am going to Ha, ah, I knew it. Move. And I could move and then attack, but Javion has wisely avoided my trap. <laughs> so that's all that's all I got. I figured it out. I figured out what you wanted. I said no. <laughs> one step ahead. One when step ahead. I, uh, when do I um get to go first after I take the initiative token? Does I have to wait the next round? Next round, yep. Okay. Not the next turn. Right, next round. After we okay. draw three more chips. Wait. No oh okay. I was thinking of rounds as redrawing but now our bags are different sizes so that can't be the round so the round okay so no, basically... it's still redrawing so like um i have fewer in my bags i just refill my bag every time that comes around um but we're still doing drawing three chips per round what i'm saying is i thought a round was when we both refill our bags oh, our bags okay. are different sizes so yeah. that can't be the round right the yeah. round is just drawing three so exactly. i can totally take that chip back now I could just take it. It could just be mine forever. Yeah, and then I can't take it back until next round. I like that idea. Kind of into it. It initiative is a very strategic thing. Um, it's really cool because sometimes you really want to go first, and sometimes you really want to go last. Both positions can be very powerful. Yeah. So it is a very strategic choice for when you choose to take that. Tell you what. Let's, let's, let's call it truce. <laughs> truce. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to do some fun stuff. What's the fun stuff? <laughs> truce Mr. Winning over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, there's... There's five swordsmen in total. There's three I haven't put in my bag yet. Same with the pikemen. Three I haven't put in my bag yet. 
I think there's two you haven't put in your bag for the pikemen, because there's four of those. Even if I get all three of these, I still need at least one of these eventually. Yeah. Uh, and you note on Javion's side, Javion actually ha just has a lot more units than me, because a lot of mine are fours and a lot of Javions are fives, so we don't have an equal number of units. Uh, Javion has 19 total, and I have uh, 17 total. So it definitely affects how we're going to play. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss a, a, a face down chip away. And with this chip, I've tossed. I'm going to. I'm gonna take that. Cool. All right. So that is... Puns for the birds. <laughs> for the birds. <laughs> hey, Game Freaky Girl's here. I'm in a meeting Hello. and have no audio, but I love y'all. All of you, too. Thanks so much for tuning in. I guess you can't hear. <laughs> I'll just wave frantically. <laughs> uh, okay, this is fine. Everything that's happening here is okay, and I'm okay with it. That was a lie. I'm not um, <laughs> unhappy with how things are going, but I will keep up appearances. Um, cool. Let's just. I don't know. I feel like. That's a pretty. I feel like I want my cavalry in here. So. Now you got all your cavalry in there. Yeah, that's all. I'm expecting <laughs> lots of cavalry <laughs> from you. Okay. And I'm gonna play my last chip. I'm gonna move to here. <laughs> you see, J you you are actually. <laughs> I think you're grasping this more quickly than I did, because uh, you are playing the control game. You are playing to win. You look how many chips I have on the board. I've got one of each. You only have two on here, and you're much closer <laughs> than I am to winning. We'll see how that continues to play out as time progresses. Oh, yes. All right. I can't wait to start taking some risks. Yeah. It's going to be fun. To Very much. Very much so. And remember, Javion had the weaker unit, so if Javion wins, it is against all the odds. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to draw our three hand our three chips from our bags. And uh, Javion has taken the initiative marker, so is going first. Ooh, I got the chip I wanted. Sure you did. <laughs> okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I am going to play this light. Okay, you got some options here. What's with this light cavalry? I choose to. And here is the card. Here is what Javion's choices are. Go here. Huh? You're gonna go there? Am I gonna go there? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> Remember, you can't take this piece. I know. Okay. Gosh. Another piece, right? Oh, shoot. Okay. I, um, you see this? Again, this, I don't always remember what's going on. Like, this piece is actually at risk because the crossbow has these two spaces locked down. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, light cavalry to... can't move and attack. Yeah, light cavalry is different than regular ca cavalry. They just have, they're just very mobile. So. Very mobile. I'm going to huh. go running around the board, see what comes up. Huh. Okay. Um, interesting. What are you gonna do, Emma? Hmm? You can't kill me. Ha ha ha. I cannot. This is where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> I keep saying. Yeah, it makes sense. 
seems like the thing to say. All right, do I take the risk here? <laughs> no way did Javion get two light cavalry pieces. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do something to scout. Alright, I'm gonna move here. Get out of range of that crossbow. Yeah, I'm remembering all the stuff your units can do and all the stuff your opponent's units can do is a lot. So Javion is threatening taking some of these points, but can potentially take some back. What are you gonna do? Initiative, Mr. Initiative. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I, I forgot you did something. Now it's my turn to. Yeah, I'm, I moved here. Yeah. I'm going to command. Yeah. Or control, rather. Uh, control, yeah. It does seem good. Down two to go. I'm going to recruit. So I'm going to get a archer. And it's your turn. I'm going to... I'm going to recruit. All right. I'm going to recruit. Pike's person. Cool. Uh, and this is a pretty... You'll, you'll notice how uh, we tend to have some bigger stacks of some units. Going even across the board, I think, is generally a little worse. It's good to go into some units just so you have those pieces come up more often. All right. I have one move left. Um, mm, yes, the crossbow can attack at range one. It doesn't have the restriction that that silly little archer has. Yeah. Uh, so the differences between crossbowmen and archer, crossbowmen can attack at range one, but it cannot attack over units. The archer, however, can shoot over something. So crossbow couldn't attack here right now, for example. Uh, archer can also shoot at an angle, which is a little interesting. Crossbowmen has to shoot oops, in a line so they can hit here and here. This archer, however, can hit anywhere two spaces away. So they can hit here, 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 here. They've just got this nice arc that they are doing. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to, since you are smartly staying out of my range, I'm just going to take my cavalry and <laughs> uh, yes. move to this. Yeah, I didn't get that, that thing that I wanted to get, so it didn't quite work out. But uh, I am, however, defending in a couple of different ways. Uh, so mine can move one or two and then attack in a straight line. So this Lancer is in a little bit of a weird spot, but that is all our pieces for the round. So I only have two left in my bag. I'm going to draw those two and then refill my bag. Put all these in here and then draw one more for my last one. All right, Javion, you still have the initiative. I love that. <laughs> Javion just really, Javion's winning strategy is just keep initiative no matter what. Um, I'm, ooh, this is, this is cute. I don't like cute. I mean, I like cute in general, but I don't like you saying this is cute. This scares me. Real cute. Don't, don't say cute. <laughs> oh, no, I put this back in the wrong way. These are getting so cute. <laughs> so 
So the thing is, okay, let me see. You've got two here, and you should have. Let me see. <laughs> Assessing, doing the math. It's good. Yeah, now I'm doing the math. Okay, hold yeah. on a second. Did you draw any before you? Shuffled? I drew two before I shuffled. Drew two before you shuffled. And if I'm thinking about this, I should have been paying more attention. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, my instinct is telling me you do not have any more scouts in your bag, as the last two chests were now scouts. That's, that's my instinct is telling me. So, that in mind. I'm going to move my archer. All right, I'm going to attack your archer. Okay, well. So yeah, this is out of the game. And this is how the game starts to regress is tokens are sent back to the box. I'm going to place down a pipe first. All right. And when they are attacked by an adjacent unit, remove a coin from that unit. So they're very well armored. So I got to be careful of that. Uh, I'm going to play my second scout. I drew two. I don't know. Oh how my that gosh. <laughs> what? I was really not paying attention. Oh, no. Hold on. You might have drawn a new one. Yeah. All right. To control this one. And now uh, we are even. Three nope. and three. All right, back to you. I'm gonna move my pike first. Hmm. Yeah, so attacking this is not great. Hmm, interesting. Uh, they should be over here. I'm gonna do this and get my Lancer. Alright, you drew your next three? It's gonna be fun. Alright. You are still first. Okay. I'm going to. <laughs> this word starts to get tense. <laughs> nice close up of that board. So pretty. Question marks. J. Fool's Guard says, a nice design detail you can play the coins face down to do actions. It introduces a bit of uncertainty of what coins your opponent has played, and you don't really get empty turns. Yeah, exactly. Like this information here of what imperfect information you know opposite of perfect information makes a huge difference for it's like what are they holding what did they get rid of uh, and that's also a nice thing of kind of spreading out your recruiting because you can also always play a recruit action because uh, once you're they're all recruited you can't do the recruit action anymore and then you don't have the, as many of the face down tokens all right javion i'm going to <laughs> You're gonna pass? What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Little passy wassy. Alright. Well, I'm going to control. Two more. I'm going to. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm going to take the initiative. <laughs> I will say you do kind of have to remember which are your pieces. Because <laughs> I'm looking at some actions like, Wait, is that my piece or is that not my piece? I'm going to... I'm not going to do control. I'm going to do both here. All right. Interesting. All right. Before my last move, I'm going to uh, move up here. What do the pikemen do again? And it's attack by Jason, remove a coin. Cool. I'm gonna get that in range of my archer. All right. End of the round, I will draw my three. And I start the round. All right, I'm going to move. Okay. So close. Okay. Put a swordsman right here. All right. We have swordsman on the board. What do those do? After it attacks, it may move. So attack and move. It's pretty flexible. Um. All right. I'm going to shoot the pikeman at range. I'm going to place uh, some uh, extra swordmen down. Yeah, bolstering that? Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, in that case... I'm going to recruit a scout. I'm going to place uh, actually, I'm just going to recruit a sword. All right. On to the next round. Draw one. Get all these back into my bag. Shuffle. And it is still my initiative. Okay. Um. Interesting. I'm going to move. <laughs> also, when you start to get more things, you start to get more spread out. It's pretty scary. Okay, I'm gonna do... A move. Oh, oh, right here. Ooh, it's very fun. Okay. Uh, so two left. I'm going.
going to move here. I'm going to put Pike's person here. Hmm. <laughs> All right, and of course, Pike's person, when it's attacked by an adjacent, you know, remove that one. So I am going to play this, but I don't really want to attack this. So I I think I'm just going to move here. And now okay. I'm quite spread out. And then I'm just going to put another swordsman in my bag. Okay. All right, and I still have initiative, so we will draw our three chips. Very close to losing. Hmm. Depending on how this round goes. Uh, hmm. Of course, with my Lancer, I have to move one or two and then attack, so I can't actually hit this. Actually, I can't. This is a pretty good positioning. I don't know if y'all see this, but I can't hit this Cavalier with either of these units, and it can hit both of them, so good to know. I'm, I have very low hopes for my chances for winning right, right now. We'll see. Um, hmm. Actfully destroyed a lot of my defenses around here, and I, <laughs> uh, I ended up just like not having what it takes to, to, to kick anything out. I'm going to start. Don't do that. I'm going to start by recruiting a scout. I will. Tides could turn at any moment, though. Uh, Jail's J Fool's Guard, you can't make a normal attack with a Lancer. Yep, exactly. It's powerful, but only at range. Being close like this is pretty scary. I will take the initiative, please. All right. Um, hmm. It's very tense watching, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, tell me about it. Uh... I'm going to control. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, I got one left. I'm going to... Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, things aren't good. <laughs> things are not good. I have to kind of gamble, actually, but you, yeah. you have so many chips in your bag now. So many. Almost all of them. Almost all of them, yeah. Yeah, you have a lot of chips in your back, so I I feel like maybe I should take a risk. I'm going to take a risk. Yeah, to, do it. To try to win. I'm going to move here. Okay, yeah. So not attacking my pieces. I feel like I have to do... Well, I guess I could instead go like over here. 
but then your Lancer could hit me. So, yeah. yeah, this is the best spot to try to <laughs> delay. All right, I'm done. Uh, okay. In that case, I am going to move over here. Okay. Then I am just going to... All right, that is the uh, end of the round. So I'll draw my three, and Javion has the initiative. Great, that's good, because I need to do a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do control. Yeah, that's good. You have made it so I don't win this round, potentially. Interesting. I'm going to move. I'm also going to move a Pike's person. Wait, no. Frickin' Archer. <laughs> stinky Archer. There. <laughs> stinky. Haha, I planned that. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, take your time. Ah, oh, the archer's in a really good spot. It's like one, it's... <laughs> two, three, four different areas. You can all sh shoot that are control spaces. Yeah, but on honestly, like the bolstering here is, bolstering is tricky to master, but that definitely is deterring me from what I want to do. I'll put it right here. Okay. Uh now we're even, huh? All right, I'm going to ping at this cavalry. And now you see the value of bolstering that you have a unit there still. Yeah. All right, is your move? Jeez, I haven't killed any of your stuff. Yeah, that's... Again, it's not... You don't win necessarily that way. So that's... But that's is... interesting. Should I do that or that? Yeah. Um... It's definitely a tough choice. Like, it doesn't feel great to unbolster, to take a unit off of there. It's, the... it's not ideal, but I have some thoughts. God, this archer is placed perfectly. <laughs> like, like, legitimately. Perfect. Let's let's do something about that. I'm gonna move this here. Ooh, very nice. All right. Uh, I am going to move and attack with my cavalry. All right, Javion still has the initiative. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, God. 
<laughs> you got it. I believe in you. This is frustrating. Yeah. You've been killing everything. I haven't killed a single one of yours. All right, I'm just going to go to Pikeman. All right, I'm going to control. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think I can win. All depends on what I have in my hand. And I do yeah, have that like, last ugh, answer. Gosh, good game. <laughs> For the last uh, piece, good game. Yeah. Uh, it's frustrating. I, I felt like I was just like getting attacked over and over, and I was just like not positioning to attack you. I was just positioning to like be safe, and then yeah. Uh, I, tried to, I tried to focus on two pieces, but like they were both so like overwhelmed by the stuff that your your pieces could do. So it's just ah, man. It, it's definitely. Uh, this is probably my fifth or sixth time playing. You get a sense for the rhythm of it over time. The swordsman did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like zero. All I did was sit on a, on a space so I couldn't put anything else there. Yeah, there's I, definitely... I completely ignored this whole side except for that one that I took. Yeah, there's you risk. killed them off with like an archer and a lancer, uh, or sorry, the other thing together. I was just like, ugh. Yeah, when your cavalry was over here... You definitely could have been picking off, like, pick off my archer first, and... Yeah, but you, I would have lost, though. I would have lost sooner. Yeah. I needed to I needed to get over here and steal something, and I knew that you would just kill off something and then just go back and control the place that I... that you, uh, that you had uh, abandoned temporarily. Like, that's so good. Ugh, gosh. Yeah. And I think with... Like, you were bolstering... Like, you bolstered this early on. But I figured otherwise... I'm just leaving it vulnerable to just lose to, I mean, like, ugh. Yeah. I think ugh. bolstering can be good in general, though. Uh, especially if I'm going aggressive, then, yeah, also being aggressive with that. And getting sense for how the, the units combine in different ways ways and there's luck too you know there was times i i, I just got a lot of double hands so i like could move yeah, here ugh, and control you got that too just, oh, man <laughs> and remember you had the really bad team so it's not your fault <laughs> it's just you had much worse pieces much worse units than than me that was fun i'm gonna play yeah. again so that's war chest uh, this is the standard setup for future games. You can shuffle all these together and deal them out so you have really weird combinations or you can keep playing with the standard to get a sense of how the same units do. As you can see, there's a lot of choices between when you recruit things and when you take the initiative, uh, when you pass, whether you're moving to new places. One of the things I love about the game is it really isn't about combat in general if you are doing a lot of combat and winning a lot of combat it is good for you uh but sometimes you can get so focused on that that someone's just running around taking the spaces and you still lose even though um the other person has a lot of pieces and and as you saw like at the midpoint javion had more and then i had more and then you started taking some back from me so there is no point at which you're just safe right the more if once you have a bunch of spaces you're more spread out right and you can only have one unit of each type on the board. So that you can definitely get spread out and then someone swoops in and gets all your pieces. So a lot of interesting choices, a lot of strategy, and it's yeah, it's a fun game. Thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for everybody for watching. Uh, what are we going to be doing next week? Uh, next week, let me take a look at our list. What do we have? Uh, I'm not sure. Did we, did we decide on something? Might have to wait and decide. Let me see the, the game schedule. We put a bunch of games in here. It's at the top of the list. We did that. Round Guard? Is that what you wanted to that's do? A, that's a very good one. But, oh, uh, Pondarian. Pondarian is what we're going to do next. Pondarian? Awesome. Uh, you, uh, I don't know if you have your game catcher for your 
Switch or if you wanted to play Round God on your PC. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing. Um, so we have, I know we've had a few issues with some lag on here. I had done some research and figured I need to upgrade my hardware, but short-term solution could be to get the stream working on the Switch, which uh, I'm gonna figure out because I'm excited to do that. And then also playing some more of the, the Steam games and board games. TTS works well, weirdly, because <laughs> it's so resource intensive. But yeah. so always fun to show you all games. I show you games. Javion shows you games. We appreciate you letting us show you games. All right. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Have yeah. a great uh, week, everybody. Same Have time. A good weekend. Same place. Same time, same place. Next week. Bye. Bye.